But yeah, we want to talk to Will because Will spent the past week in Arizona. He's at spring training, checking out his uh, his boys in the green and gold down there. Uh, Will, I, I, so for that Fuji Otani matchup, I kept looking. You were, you had the best seat, dude. You were like two rows back. You were like right behind the catcher. Uh, what was that day like, dude? What was that whole? Because that was like a lot of hoopla for a spring training game, you know? That was a lot of hoopla for a uh, spring training game. You don't usually get that. Spring training is usually like, all right, let's get to the ballpark. Let's probably have a few drinks in the parking lot, enjoy yourselves a little bit. But I was like, I got to get here early for this one. I left minor league camp, walked down to Hohokam. Uh, I got all excited. I was like, oh, my seat's probably pretty good. Hopefully I'm off camera so nobody sees me all game. I didn't realize I was going to be the on camera the entire game and be one of those guys. I'm my bad, everybody. <laughs> hope, didn't break anybody. hope this mug didn't break anybody's TVs or anything like that. Like I do during the season, probably. But uh, it was a good time. I mean, that was a lot of hype for that game, especially when the guys only get to go, what, two innings tops? Is that maybe three if you're lucky? So, I mean, it was fun. It was a good time. Winning a random pizza in the middle of the game, being in the lucky seat of the game was really weird. What? <laughs> I saw the picture of you, Will, with eating it with a one giant uh, p- box of pizza, and I just thought, man, he, he must have he must have not eaten breakfast. Yeah, no, I'm just sitting here like, I'm just sitting here watching the in-between inning stuff, paying it, like, not even paying attention, like, watching the guys warm like, hey, congratulations, sir, here's a box of pizza. And I'm like, what, <laughs> what am I going to do with this? Like, this thing's massive. I can't put this in my lap. I mean, well, did, you, in front of me with it. Uh, did you, did you win a like, con- did you win a contest or do they like see you were there and they like send it down to you because they know you're you're so loyal? Um, they said I won a contest. I think it was rigged personally, <laughs> but um, I'm just gonna be honest and say I think it was rigged. But anyway, it was great. I had a big box of pizza. I didn't realize I was talking to Billy Owens trying to offer the assistant GM a big slice of pizza. Like, hey, what's up? I didn't realize it was him. I really didn't realize it at first. I was like, oh, crap, that was Billy Owens I'm trying to offer pizza to. And then I was like, who wants this in my section? And gave it to everybody else. I didn't take it even to slice myself. I gave it to my section. Uh, wanted them to enjoy. So that's a lesson for you kids out there. If you uh, you know, if you if you center your entire life around going to Oakland A's games, you know, cancel social events work events, everything like right field will does once in a while you'll get a free pizza out of it. So, yeah. I mean, well, I love pizza, so it's cool. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was funny because I, I would like watch the game and then I would see how you reacted to it. Like I would like see your reaction to every pitch, man. I was like, I was like locked into will cam, dude. That's how I felt, dude. Uh, <laughs> well, okay, I'm glad to get people entertainment. That was good. I'm happy to do that. But yeah, it was a good time. Uh, that's not the, it was not the warmest of games either though. So I'm glad I was in the sun. Very yeah. thankful for that. It, it, what about his splitter, dude? What is that thing like in person? It seemed like he, he – I think he got a couple of strikeouts on the splitter. You probably had a pretty good uh, vantage yeah. point of it. What, what did you think of his stuff, man? Uh, that fastball was electric. I'll tell you that. It's, it, I, I was like, I yeah, probably throws like – they kept saying he throws 98. I'm like, ah, it's in Japan, different baseball. Oh, no, he throws 98. That thing was nasty. Uh, you could hear that thing just smack the hell out of the glove. Uh, the off-speed stuff's okay, but the thing they said about him, which showed true that game as well, is this command can waver at times. And in yeah. that second inning, oh, it was uh, a little all over the place for a bit. He walked a few guys, but thankfully got out of it, kept the guys in it. And uh, his stuff's filthy. Uh, I'm excited to see what he does in the rotation in Oakland. Because, I, I mean, if you pay him that much money, I mean, $3 million or whatever we paid him for the A's, that's a – I guess that's a big a lot, big amount of money for John Fisher. <laughs> uh, yeah. A little cheap. So, uh, yeah, I, I, he'll be in the rotation. It's, it'll be fun to watch him. I mean, he'll struggle a bit, but I think he'll do well. And who knows, he'll probably trade him midseason like we do everybody else. Yeah. All right, so other than uh, Fuji, who was, uh, who was, the, who was the, uh, the A that you were most excited uh, to see in camp this last oh, week? Um, I, mean, he's, um, I mean, Alex has covered him a lot already on his uh, yeah. Twitter this year so far. That's Lawrence Butler. Yeah, Lawrence Butler. A guy Butler, who was yeah. really making a name for himself in the yeah. organization. He's looked incredible. Uh, I mean, he looked good in Stockton in 2021. He, somebody was a little, you could tell he's raw. He was very young, little raw, um, did okay. And then he went to Lansing last year, was struggling at first, had an arm injury. And then after he got back from that, he's been hitting about 310 ever since Lansing, Arizona Fall League, and now spring training. So the guy is uh, tearing the cover off the ball and is figuring stuff out and is an electric outfielder. I mean, some of those catches and throws and, yeah, I mean, he'll probably start off with double-A Midland, but he's a lot of fun to watch. Uh, also, he's very, very good on the social media stuff. He, he's very engaging, so it's going to be uh, very good for the Oakland A's. Dude, he's sick. He actually – so I, I made a little highlight. He had a, I, I forget what clip it was. I've, I've clipped so many Buddy uh, – I mean, oh, wow, I, I almost was... said Buddy Reed. Wow. But, uh, no, I've clipped so many Lawrence Butler highlights. 
that uh I, I forget which one I did, but he retweeted it. He's like, oh, they're still sleeping on me. He said he said I still feel slept on. That's what he said. Yeah. He, he yeah, also retweeted your you you uh, clipped him when he uh when he called off I think he called off the first baseman like on a pop up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they did a rolling catch, and he retweeted you and was like, "Sorry, guys." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He sounded fun. No, he he's a cool guy. He actually DM me afterwards, like, "Dude, you got to send me that clip." So I sent that to him. So oh, I, 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 that's uh, awesome. we got to get him on the podcast, dude. I, I, of course. So once he DM me, I was like, "Okay, dude. Hey, if you want to join the pod, you're welcome to join the pod." So there's an open invitation right, to Lawrence good. Butler out there to join the pod. That would be great. He'd be a great interview. He'd be he'd be I mean, a lot of fun. Not lot as good as not as good as you will, but you know. Uh, yeah. No, I bet. Okay, let's be honest. <laughs> me or, uh, or Lawrence. Butler, I'd go Lawrence Butler to the week. Plus, he has a he has some show hair. Man, that guy's got it all, man. He can he can show off and have a Dude, good time. And, the, and the sunglasses, he's got those. Uh, oh, hell yeah, vi- yeah, the Viper Which, glasses. Yeah, yeah. Which was going to be a great promotion this year. We'll lead up to that at some point. We'll yeah, we're going to be talking about promos. Later yeah, we're going to be talking show. about the Coliseum later today too, and like ways, um, you know, what the A's got on tap for promotions, and just like ideas that we have to make the Coliseum better too. So stay tuned for that second half of the pod. <laughs> so how many, Will, how many years have you been, what year is this that you've been down to uh, Arizona for Cactus League? I've been going to spring training every year since uh, 2007. Okay. Damn. I missed 2020 by two days before uh, something called COVID happened. I mean, <laughs> no, no big deal. Right early. <laughs> oh, blame it on COVID, Will. Blame it on yeah, COVID. Yeah. How dare I? But shoot, I messed that up. And then I missed 2021 because – uh when we were all having to do the vaccine stuff, I didn't want to go down there and maybe risk getting my family sick or anything like that. So yeah. I decided to be yeah. a responsible young man, which is rare in my life, <laughs> to uh, not try to get anybody sick. And then made it last year, right when spring training opened, by accident. So I was going down there just to watch San Jose Barracuda hockey when the lockout was going on. <laughs> and thankfully that opened up to be a uh, spring training opening day. So I saw two games of the A's last year. Oh, by well, well, I got to ask you this. Are, are you the only... San Jose Barracuda fan who regularly travels to see them on the road? Um, yeah, probably. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, this weekend they're in Bakersfield, so I'll be down in Bakersfield watching the Barracuda for two games. So why not? Well, well, I was going to ask you too, Will, because you, uh, like, back to Lawrence Butler, like you said you saw him a couple years ago in, in Stockton. Like, did you have a feeling like, oh, because he was probably, I think, I think he's 22 now, so he was probably like 20 then. Did you have a feeling like, yo, this guy – to be uh, like a great two-way player? Because we've seen both sides, his offense and his defense, you know? Did you see I mean, that a couple years? Was, yeah, his defense was already there. His bat was kind of struggling. But, I mean, again, that's his first time really hitting with wood bat, everything else. I mean, that's kind of a tough thing to do. Um, but, yeah, he showed that potential. I mean, just, I mean you could tell. Like, he showed those – there's games where he'd show the flashes of it. Yeah. Then other games you're like, ooh, this guy's uh, this guy's pressing a bit. But, no, he's yeah. always showed that skill. He's uh, – He's, uh, there's a chance he can make the A's this year at some point. I mean, the injuries happen. The A's trade. Uh, breaking news, the A's trade people. So uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Like, because I think uh, I think he got as far, as far as Lansing last year. So I think like a logical, he'll, he'll probably start at Midland and then maybe, you know, have a short, like, get a quick call up to Vegas and spend most of his year in Vegas or something like that. Who knows? But Yeah, we'll I definitely think- find out. I mean, it's going to be exciting. Yeah, yeah, I want to see, I want to see him this year. Yeah, uh, 